First five, holiday. First U.S. federal holiday of the year. Easy. President's Day. Washington's birthday. Uh, you remember when Washington, George Washington was born? It was the third Monday of every February. I'll remember. What, what day is your birthday this year, George? U.S. federal holidays. Third, okay, so that means Martin Luther King Jr. Day should be... It's the third Monday of January. Oh, New Year's Day, dumbass. March. You might have like an Easter in there. Sorry, a Good Friday in there. Something in March? Is a March day? March? I'll pass for a second. 12 days of Christmas. My true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On this... Partridge. Partridge? Partridge? <laughs> Second day, two calling birds. Calling birds. Wait, two turtle doves. Three French hens. And we all know the best part of the song. Five golden rings. And it's on the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese laying birthstones. Chinese zodiac animals. Dog. Rat, chicken, dragon, snake, horse, donkey, goat, pig. What the fuck? Let it snow lyrics. Oh, the weather outside is... NFL Thanksgiving winners, Lions, Lions, Packers, Bears, Patriots, Patroits, Birthstones, Opal, Topaz, Ruby, Diamond, Sapphire, Emerald, I'm just thinking of Diablo. Micah. I give up. I give up. Garnet Amethyst Aquamarine. Ox Tiger Rabbit. Look, this one. What the fuck? Easter? Good Friday is not a U.S. federal holiday? What are you talking about? It's not? Everybody gets a day off. It's religious. It's a religious country. The U.S. is fucked. What do you... I mean, it doesn't mean it's fucked, but like... What do you mean it's on a weekend? It's called Good Friday. Good Friday. Separation of church and state. You can't pick and choose when that applies, okay? One nation under God, but also Good Friday is on a Sunday and it's religious so we don't get it off. Instead, we take off George Washington's birthday. This shit doesn't make any damn sense, man. I was gonna, I would, you're, maybe you don't believe me. I was thinking of saying Juneteenth, but in my head, I was like, that's in June, you fucking idiot. There's no way that it's, that it's gonna be one of the first five federal holidays. I mean, three of them happen in the first two months of the year. Do you guys really not get Good Friday off in America? But, but you get fucking like seven days for Thanksgiving, even though it's so close to Christmas anyway? We get one day for Thanksgiving? I don't buy it. I don't buy it, quite frankly. It doesn't fit my narrative. Don't say we get one day, maybe. You get one day, definitely. You get two days, maybe. Thanksgiving's like the, the most sacred holiday on the American calendar. Not if you work retail? Yeah, but that's not an American thing. This is the same in Canada. You want to take holidays off, you got to move to Spain, okay? Where all the stores are closed from 4 until 8 p.m. 
I'm not saying that that's a bad thing either, for the record. It's so base, base Spain. This, this quiz goes out to all my, my Spanish viewers. We get a lot of uh, uh, people that are like, oh, look, uh, he's talking about Sweden again. He's talking about Denmark. He's talking about Minneapolis, St. Paul. We don't get that many uh, Spanish honors on stream, probably because there's also a lot of Spanish streamers, which is fair. Hey, Anel, can you shout out my friend John Favreau? Hey, John. Your friend Honest Bloom got in touch with me. Just wanted to have me give you a quick shout out. Says you're a big fan of my content. Says you you work in entertainment. I work in entertainment myself. It can be a hard business. You know, it can take a while to achieve some success. Don't let it get you down. Just keep grinding out there. And I'm sure one day you could write and direct a few movies that gross over a billion dollars worldwide, including The Lion King, uh, remake, and then also the first Iron Man, and some indie films as well that have done some good work, such as uh, Swingers and, and Chef, and The Chef Show, of course, as well. Uh, best of luck to you, and thanks to your friend Honest Bloom for, for getting in touch with me. That's, that'll be $750 on Cameo. Nice blue light filter. I gotta get new glasses. The I, I'm I don't say this too often. The company I bought these glasses was a store. The store I bought these glasses from fucked me. I said I'm not going to Lens Crafters. I want to support a local business. I went to a local business. Um, the glasses were more expensive. I was like, can I get the anti-glare? And they're like, you don't need that. It's too expensive. And I said, I would really like it. And they said, I promise you don't need it. And then... And it's the first time I've ever bought glasses in my entire life that they didn't do like an adjustment after I bought them. You know, normally you get glasses and they have you sit in like the, the mirror or looking in the mirror, and then they like adjust with these tiny screwdrivers and stuff, and then they bring them back out. They didn't do that. They just handed it to me and said, like, here you go. Which I think is why when I wear these glasses, my eyebrows disappear. So I, I'm, I think they just wanted me out of the business, honest. I think they wanted me out of the store. I think they were, maybe it was like a front or something like that. So also... I feel like they got the prescription wrong or something because I, uh, it's, it's weird to say, but we have like a rice cooker and the rice cooker has like a digital LED display of the time that the rice has been in the rice cooker. If I move my head in just the right way, I swear that this is true. If I move my head like this, the numbers move off of the display and onto like, non-display parts of the rice cooker. It's actually like it's be, it's warping the light in such a way that like things are, it's called chromatic aberration. I've never heard of that in my life before. Color shift can, that, with blues especially, that it, there, it's a blue display. It's a blue display. It's caused by bad lenses. I'm t I knew it. They fucked me. I'm not going to name the business, but I'm not going back. Next time, I'm going to damn lens crafters, man. They didn't steer me wrong. The only, th the only thing that pisses me off about lens crafters is that like a month after you buy glasses, they send you emails that are like, you want some new glasses? And you're like, what do you think this is, idiot? That's not how it works. Although I will say, and I know that we're still playing Sporkle and I'm just ranting, but fucking, how, how fucked up? Like the, the, the most lie promise in business history, your, your glasses are ready in one hour or less. Shit has never happened in Earth's history. Then you go in and you're like, I need new glasses today. And they're like, sure, we'll get you hooked up. Then you pay and they're like, we'll have those ready in two weeks. 
Oh, oh, it's only if you if you just want glasses with no frames, we can have those ready in an hour. If your glasses have any sort of prescription associated with them at all, ah, that could be six to 12 weeks, man. Have you seen the supply chain lately? It's like the biggest case of false advertising since the fire festival. Anyway, sorry, I'm still, <laughs> put me back in the, put me back in the science quizzes, please. Yeah, I'm not going to try to name the 25 mammals of Thailand. Amino acids by picture? Come on, what is wrong with you? Like, who's doing this? Amino acids by picture. Causes of death in the United States in 2005. Yeah, this could be fun. It's a little morbid, I suppose. I mean, it's the same in Canada. I'm not going to pretend that it's like, it's not. Number one has got to be heart disease. So to like, I'm pretty sure that's probably how I'm going out. <laughs> I just hope I go out like Mr. Big during a Peloton ride and, you know, not like my grandfather who was just like walking. And then number two, cancer. Okay. Especially after that rant. And all the subway. Yeah. And, and after all the subway as well. You're not wrong. Okay. Now we go down a little bit. Number three. Stroke? Okay, it's, it's in the ballpark. Um, accidents? Old age? Is that, no, okay, well, that's, that's scary. Um, diabetes? <clears throat> Um, um, you evaded death once and then it came back for you and you got in a jacuzzi and thought you were safe, but the jets got really strong and sucked you down through the drain at the bottom of the... There's no way, like, 40... I don't think there's 44,000 murders in America annually. That, that's, like... Look, the number is too high, but that's too high. 40,000? I think... I think suicide would be up here. Intentional self-harm. Pulmonary distress... Like lung, lung disease, chronic lower, atory, chronic lower respiratory distress. The one chip challenge. Um, Broken heart? You hear about it all the time. Pancake by drunk dump truck driver. Co leading causes of death. I don't know, man. Drowning? Trains? I just thought I'd throw one out there. <laughs> Trains. Oh, man. Oh, poisoning? I don't know. I, I give up. I give up. I give up. Ah, uh, okay. It's not trains. Alzheimer's, influenza, pneumonia, and kidney disease. It's not trains. What the hell is Centrum tablets? What the hell? I can't do that. Are you crazy? Mammals from Wikipedia? 
Platonic solids? Amino acids without pictures? That's even crazier. All right, this is... This, that's too much. Why is it so hard to hit a fly? Connect the dogs? I'm not good with the dogs. You know, we did that dog breed quiz once. Here we go. Connect the dogs. What is this? Can you name the dog breeds by putting together the word segments from each column? Dog parts. Air. What? Words, dog parts? It's air bud? There's no way it's air bud. I don't understand. I don't understand the question. I also don't like the expression dog parts, personally. How about final three dog breeds? You know... No, I'm not a I'm not a dog based guesser. I've learned. He does not have that dog in him. I want to see, you know what, quizzes. Let me get some quiz categories history. Sort by popular today. But it's literally every single quiz is just US presidents. US presidents. U.S. Okay, and then if it's not U.S. presidents, it's U.K. prime ministers, where I'm like, that's even more difficult. Because I can name, like, five maximum. How about this one? Can you guess the historical figures who might have sent these postcards from the information contained within them. These are hypothetical postcards. Greetings from Valley Forge. This would be George Washington. Greetings from Delhi. This is Gandhi. Greetings from Robben Island. This is addressed to Bishop Desmond Tutu. This is Nelson Mandela. Greetings from the press room. Everything is worth it working perfectly. It's to Johann Fust. Is this, so this is Gutenberg, who invented the printing press. He's insane. Greetings from Constantinople. The Crimean conflict does not go well. I have far more patience than I can tend to. This is Florence Nightingale. Greetings from Narnia. Greetings from... This is bullshit, dude! C.S. Lewis? That's not history, that's Narnia! Greetings from Gamba. My, okay, this is uh, Richard Leakey. Excuse me? This is Dr. Leakey. This is Jane Goodall. Okay, same, I was gonna say same difference. <laughs> Two different people. Greetings from Menlo Park. I believe that I have the solution. Carbonized bamboo seems to be a sturdy filament. You've seen my work. Direct current is the stable option. I am convinced Tesla is wrong. Okay, that's Edison. Greetings from the National Women's Suffrage Association. This is Susan B. Anthony. Greetings from Kitty Hawk. Who are the Wright brothers? Greetings from the Alcazar. My advisors tell me you have greatly underestimated the length of your voyage. I have therefore decided to fund your westward passage to the Indies. Advise when you depart. That's Queen Sophia. Sophia. Queen Sophie. Queen Sophia. Queen Isabel. Queen Isabella. Queen Isabella. Okay. <laughs> Greetings from Woolsthorpe. To Leibniz, that's from Newton. Greetings from the Vatican, that's the Pope. Never mind. I'm spending too much time on my back, but the fresco comes along well. That's Michelangelo. What the fuck? Mike Michelangelo. Sorry, my mistake. Greetings from Downing Street. 
This is Winston Churchill with a stamp of his own face. Wait, your House of Commons speech was a smash. I think your Berlin talk will go down in history despite the protesters. I thank you for your offer of naval support in Argentina, though I hope the war will be over quickly and without major losses. To President Ronald Reagan. Okay, I guess it's probably not from Winston Churchill then. That would be a uh, British Prime Minister in the 80s, Margaret Thatcher. Greetings from the Galapagos. It's Charles Darwin. Okay, it's a little too easy. State by presidential visit. What the hell? There's 50 of these? This is Arizona. That's Kentucky. I can... That's Kansas. Sorry, sorry, sorry to my Kansas viewers. That's Hawaii. What an what a amazing photo. What is... I don't know the answer to this. This would be Montana. This is Florida. Wait, isn't Wake Forest in Florida? Is it in Ohio? Wake Forest? Is that in Georgia? I don't know where Wake Forest is. I'm moving on. This is Massachusetts. Always, every time. This is Massa. I pass. This is St. Louis, um, which is in the state of Missouri. in the state of Ms. Uri. <laughs> it, you know what I you should call this quiz? College football. College football mascots. Can you name every college football mascot in the United States of America? And you know what? No, I can't, okay? No, I can't. I didn't realize that if you're campaigning for president, every time you visit a place, you have to take a photo where you're being... Uh, backgrounded by the mascot of the college football team. I didn't realize that it was that simple. I guess I'm not that into politics, okay? It's required. How did I get from science to photo of George W. Bush in a St. Louis Cardinals jacket? How did that happen? Psycho arc? What are you talking about, psycho arc? I'm just, I'm, I'm looking for something good. I'm looking for something. History is all American presidents. I'm sorry. We got we to gotta move on from the history. What other categories we got here? Just for fun? Missing word Beatles solo hits. Get the picture, Frank Oz characters. Music. The music ones are usually good. I've, I've enjoyed the music quizzes and demonstrating how little I know about the 2010s. Popular today. Can you choose three number one hit songs by each singer or band? Figures taken from the, hop, the top 100. No, it needs to be pictures. Pick a 2000s band by hit. Okay, we did that one. Women singers of the 1990s. I'm just worried that there's... Oh, I can do this. Hold on. Okay, we're in a good category. I can do this. 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 Women singers of the 1990s. You've got Britney Spears. I thought I would have to type, but that's okay. You got Sheryl Crow. You've got Natalie Imbruglia. She's torn. You've got Alanis Morissette. I mean, that's a given. This is for all the people who said I can't name a woman, okay? You've got Bjork. You've got Brandy. You got Celine. You have Dolores O'Riordan, which I probably butchered. She is the lead singer of the Cranberries, I think. You have Dido. She wants to thank you. Jerry Hallowell, Gwen Stefani, Lauren Hill, Lisa Loeb, Mariah Carey, Madonna, Meredith Brooks. 
You think she's saying bitch? I think so. Shania, Sinead, Tony Braxton, Tori Amos. Average score 80. Name a woman. Name a woman. Name a woman. Name so many women, they gave me 100%. Technically, they named the woman. Listen, you piece. You're scrolling slowly. Women singers of the 80s. I can do this. Debbie Harry. Paula Abdul. Whitney Houston. Annie Lennox. Okay, I got to pass Belinda Carlisle just for a second. Madonna. She's in every single one of these, I'm sure. She's in every single one of these. I'm share, share, share. Gloria Estefan. Cindy Lauper. Donna Summer. I think you're Donna Summer, but I'm passing for just a second. Irene Cara. I have no idea. Janet Jackson. Kim Wilde. Oh, shit. Kylie Minogue. You're Kylie Minogue. Pat Benatar. I think you're Pat Benatar. Is that crazy? Are you Pat Benatar? I think you're Pat Ben. I'm passing for a second. Stevie Nicks. A landslide brought her down. Susanna Hoffs. I know you. I think that's you. Tiffany. She thinks we're alone now. Tina Turner. Suzanne Vega. Help. Belinda Carla. Okay. This is going to be tough. You look like a Belinda to me. Donna Summer, Irene Cara, Kim Wilde, Pat Benatar, Suzanne Vega. This is tough for me because I thought that... I thought that Pat Benatar had short blonde hair. But I also know that she's spunky. Okay. Suzanne Vega, lead singer of The Bangles, I think. Irene Cara. Kim Wilde. She looks a little wild. Suzanne Vega, Irene Cara. I think you're Irene. I think you're Suzanne Wilde. Or uh, Suzanne Vega. Okay, honestly, that one was tough. I, we had to use some process of elimination there. Let's go to the 2000s. 2010s, I'm going to get destroyed. Okay, let's take a look, okay? Amy Winehouse. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, well, hold on. I'm getting flooded. I'm getting flooded. <laughs> Amy Winehouse. Christina Aguilera. Fergie. Missy Elliott. Nelly Furtado. Carrie Underwood or like another country music singer. I don't know you. I feel like you might be Joss Stone. In my head, you're, you're Joss Stone. I feel like I know you, but this is a bad picture. This Katy Perry, Avril Lavigne, Alicia Keys. Don't know you. This is Kesha, Pink, Beyonce, Kelly Clarkson, Vanessa Carlton. I don't know you, honestly. Shakira, I don't think I know you. But you might just be British. Katy Perry, Beyonce, Avril Lavigne, Carrie Underwood. See, this is Anastasia. Who the hell is Anastasia? Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys tried to talk some sense in him. Fergie, Vanessa Carlton, Florence Welch. Again, I don't know you. Pink, Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson, Kesha. Leona Lewis, who is this? Missy Elliott, Amy Winehouse, Nelly Furtado. Ah, you're Nicole Scherzinger from Moana. You're Shakira. We've got a Chantel, an Anastasia, a Florence Welch, and a Leona Lewis. Okay, this is the easiest thing in the world. There's no way you're not Florence Welch. You just strike me as an Anastasia. Something, it's a little Eastern European vibe I'm getting from the photo. I'm going to say you're Leona Lewis and you're Chantel. That's just the simplest process of elimination of all time. He's insane.
You had Anastasia during your colonoscopy? Yeah, well, you never even had your car. He's goaded? No, wait for this. Women singers of the 2010s. Okay, we got first things first. I'm the realist. That's Lana Del Rey. That's Taylor Swift. That's Miley Cyrus. I don't know who you are. That's Selena Gomez from The Only Murders in the Building. I don't know who you are. I know who you are, but I don't know your name. I know who you are, but I don't know your name. This Lady Gaga, this Rihanna. I don't know who you are. I think that might be Carly Rae Jepsen. I don't know who you are. That's Ariana Grande. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. You're Adele. You're Nicki Minaj. You're Lord. You're Lizzo. Maybe I could do this. Maybe I can, I can get this done. Okay. Miley Cyrus. Adele. Ariana Grande. Rihanna. Carly Rae Jepsen. Christina Perry. I pass. Lizzo. Taylor Swift. Ellie Golding. Ah, yes. She, from Sesame Street. She's, she's, thank you for the sun, she's, the, the clouds, yeah, clouds, Emily Sande, I don't know who you are, Jesse J, I don't know who you are, Sia, I know who you are, also from Sesame Street, Selena Gomez, Lady Gaga, Birdie, Lord, Lana Del Rey, Megan Trainer. she sang, she sang all about that bass, Nicki Minaj, Iggy Azalea. Okay, now, now things get tough. Christina Perry, Emilie Sondé, Jesse J, and Birdie. I feel like you're Emily Sondé. And I feel like Jesse J. Birdie, Christina Perry. I think you're Christina Perry. And I think you're Jesse J. My God. And I, you're just Birdie by process of elimination. So, what was my reasoning? <laughs> Emily Sondé struck me as a classy name. If you take this as your, as your stage name, you're probably a classy person. She's, she's dressed up. She's got her hair up. She's at some kind of gala. Emily Sondé. Then I said, you don't strike me as a birdie. You strike me as someone who would use like a real name. Because look, you're presenting authenticity in your photo. You strike me as somebody who has like an alter ego, which is how I delineated between the Jesse J and the Christina Perry. And honestly, I didn't know what was happening here. I didn't know what was going on. I just, I was hoping that there would be one left and it would be your photo. So is that, have I named every woman? Have I named every woman now? Is that good enough? Blonde singers, singers with remarkable hairstyles. I'm starting to think, like, are these all from the same person? Because if so, I feel like, Maybe I've stumbled onto somebody's like fetish collection, but whatever. Let's give it a try. Singers with striking hairstyles. By the way, I don't even need to tell you they're all women. Okay. I don't know. Avril Lavigne. I don't know. Pink. Katy Perry. Nicki Minaj. Rihanna. Gwen Stefani. Demi Lovato. Miley Cyrus. I don't know. Kesha, Sinead O'Connor, Cher, Irene Cara, <laughs> from the last quiz. Uh, Sia, I know Sia. <laughs> Lady Gaga, what was she doing, man? Come on, what were you? L Lady Gaga, come on. Cindy Lauper, I don't know who you are. Great hairstyle for the MTV Movie Awards, though. Can you find Katy Perry? Next, find Lady Gaga. Avril Lavigne? Nope. Rihanna? Yes, I can do that. Pink? Sure. Kate, ba Kate Bush! She's running up that hill. Sinead O'Connor. Nicki Minaj. Jesse J. I mean, I, I saw you in the last quiz. I don't know. I pass. Cindy Lauper. 
Sia, Gwen Stefani, Kesha, Cher, Marina and the Diamonds, Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, Haley Williams from Paramore. That's you. Grace Jones. I thought that might be Grace Jones. Okay, we got Melody Martinez. Melanie Martinez. You're Jesse J. Marina and the Diamonds, Melanie Martinez. You strike me as Marina and the Diamonds. I honestly... What can I say? Also, not a crazy hairstyle, by the way. Just a very normal hairstyle. I don't see what the problem is here. He's unbelievable. What can you, what can you say? Bands and musicians by song. Can you find the X? I don't like when they say, can you find the X, Y, and Z band? Because it already narrows it so far down that it's too easy to find. Can you pick each singer whose last name would complete the given song title? Bands and musicians by song. No, okay, this t is too simple. It's too simple. You've got to think. Wrong, 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 wrong. No, I can't do name a mammal in Thailand. I wish. I wish. Popular songs of 1963. Five to one. Can you sort the one-hit wonders from the 1990s by line? What do you mean by line? Five lines and nothing compares. To, oh no! Okay, we don't we don't do this one. We don't do this one. I'm more of a. I'm more of a photo quiz sort of guy. Name a mammal? Uh, human beings. Okay, next question. Name a mammal in Thailand? Okay, human beings. Next question. I want to search for music quizzes that are from... that are popular, that also only are picture quizzes. Quizzes... Music. Popular today. Music. Filter today. Pictures only. I can find this. I can do this. Pick a 2000s music artist by hit. Okay, we did that one. Pick an alternative rock band from their picture. These are the quizzes I like. Wait a minute. We did, several, we did some of these already. Is this one that I said I'm not going to do? I'm just checking. I don't think so. I think I could do this. Hey, it's the Weasel Pigeon. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Play quiz. The Black Keys. It's these guys. Gorillas. Their drawings. Arcade Fire. I can find them. It should be the most people in a photo. It's you. Muse. Okay, Muse is a tough one. I think it's you guys. I think I remember it because they look like Bizarro World Green Day, right? They look like Green Day, but they traded their drummer. Franz Ferdinand. I can do this. I just need to take a look at the photos. It's you guys. I don't even need to look at the photos. Okay, Blink-182. The White Stripes. Nightwish. I'm going to pass on that one for a second. Apocalyptica. Tokyo Hotel, Three Days Grace. Oh, no. I hate Three Days Grace, man. Is this Headley? Is this a quiz of just canceled musicians? Shine Down, Foo Fighters. I can do that one. We're going to get into process of elimination pretty soon here. Foo Fighters. I mean, just give me a second, okay? The Foo Fighters. It's you, right? I'm just kidding. I'm joking, I'm joking. Stained. You're stained. My Chemical Romance. Okay, Avenge Sevenfold. It's going to be one of you fuckers. Pass. Radiohead. Silbermond. <laughs> okay, The Killers. The Killers. The Killers. 
I can find the killers. The killers. I can find them. They're here somewhere. The kill the killers. The killers. Yeah, yeah, the killers. Animal Collective. Okay. I can get this. They're on all their album cut. You guys have to be Animal Collective. I see Panda Bear. I see A V Tear. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Arctic Monkeys. I can do this too. I think it I gotta think about this for a second. I think it's you. It's you? Oh, th that's good, though, because that means you're not the lead singer of Headley, which means we can do the rest of the quiz. Okay, Green Day. Seether. Seether. Okay, Evanescence. Oh, fuck. Nightwish. Nightwish is really cheesy, right? Apocalyptica just sounds like they would use three cellos. Tokyo Hotel sounds like you look three days grace i don't know if three days grace ever reinvented themselves maybe it's you guys i mean you look like a poster you would see on like an mma gym wall you're they reinvented themselves they went from i hate everything about you to dudes in in sport coats they bought at value village That's how they always looked? No, in the because in the music video they're going dun dun taka da dun dun taka da dun dun taka. And these guys are dressed like Weezer in 2005. That doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right to me. Okay, which one of you is Avenge Sevenfold? It's you. Silbermund. Silbermund. Seether. You look like a Seether to me. You look like a shine down to me. You look like a Silberman. 88 versus 55. I'll still take it. Pick a supercar. The Bentley Continental Super Sports. Cars you see in Vancouver's West End. Okay, I pass. Nissan GTR. You're a Ferrari. I could tell you that. You're a Bugatti. Let's let's get to those. You're a Ferrari, but you're a, there's there's mo wait, 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 okay, hold on. You're a Bentley. I didn't recognize you cuz you weren't silver. Ford GT. I feel like you're a Ford GT, but I feel like you're a Ford GT. I feel I'm I'm scared. You're also a Ferrari. No, you might be a Lamborghini. I don't know. The Koenigsegg. Pagani Huayra. I'm sorry. I only know the Zonda. And I only know what it looks like from the driver's seat. The McLaren F1 is going to have the sharpest lines of anything here. I'm about to get two right would be my guess. Audi R8. That's Tony Stark's car. Could you have shown me, like, the whole car? How am I supposed to... I need this... I just, like, scrub the logo, but give me the whole car. I'm trying to parse this piece of crap. Like, it's impossible. Okay, so a Dodge Viper had, like, two... It had, like, two holes in the, in the front hood. So I'm looking for two holes in the front hood. It's like you. Okay. Maserati Gran Turismo. Lamborghini... Lamborghini Mustang. I think you're a Lambo. Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. Can you just do that? Can you just put every manufacturer of a car in the title? Aston Martin. That's probably you. It looks like a car James Bond would drive. Bugatti Veyron. Again, I only know what it looks like from the inside. Where is it? Right there. Porsche 918. Now, the Porsche... I, here's how I recognize cars in public. If it's got a fat ass, that's a Porsche. Ferrari makes like fighter jets and Porsche makes Instagram models. That's my understanding of, of, of the difference between these two brands. So, I don't know, because you could also be an Audi for all I know. But I, you, you could be a Porsche. I'm going to pass for a second. A Corvette Stingray.
I was wrong. Is that Nissan GTR, Ferrari, Ford GT. This has this is is this it? Maybe I don't know. The Koenigsegg. I think it's this. <laughs> You're the Pagani. Sorry, my mistake. The McLaren F1 is the sleekest there is. The Audi R8. The Maserati Gran Turismo. The Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. It wasn't the car with the fat ass. You're not a Porsche. You're a Porsche. Ford GT. Okay. We, we beat the average on a car quiz, dude. That's news to me. Oh, dude, I see that pick a, pick a Mahjong, a winning Mahjong tile is in here. I'm looking forward to that, okay? Pick an animal object. Can you pick an animal named object from below? Okay, an eagle is when you golf two under par. A hawk. I pass. A Kiwi would be the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Seal would be that right there. A bat would be this cricket bat. A rat. What the hell is this? I don't have an answer for you. A bird right there. A mule. It's got to be this, right? Oh, a fly. A camel. I pass. Get, let me get turkey, please. A horse. That's a, that's a sawhorse. My mistake. Turkey. A frog. Okay, let me get mole. Mouse. We have hawk, rat, camel. Let me just tell you, this hair clip looks the most like a rat. Oh, and frog. I think you're a rat. Then we got camel, hawk, and frog. This looks like a frog because it's like some is you're building something that's on land in the water. It's amphibious. Hawk and camel. I don't even understand what this is, but I'm gonna say, okay, never mind. That's a hawk, apparently. We got 80 versus 70. That seems very that seems like a an oceanic quiz to me. Pick an oddly named species. The dick dick. It has horns. Okay, I'm not touching this. I move me on to pick a film director. Holy shit. 45 film directors. Patty Jenkins. Holy cow. I, I can I can get 75 here. Francis Ford Coppola. I can get Francis Ford Coppola. He's right here. Pass me for a second. Okay, this these are gimmies. Ron Howard. Ron Howard. Steven Spielberg. Should be, that's the free space. Where's my Steven at? Look, dude, look at his condescending gaze. Looks like if you disagreed with this guy, you'd be like, you'd look at him and he'd just give you this look and you're like, you know what? You're right. I did not direct Munich. Just the signature look of superiority. John Woo. Thank you for the raid, by the way, Daniel. We're naming Hollywood film directors. Are you John Woo? Can I picture you putting birds everywhere? Yeah? Oh! Miyazaki. Just in time, Daniel. Miyazaki. Right there. Jane Campion. She directed The Power of the Dog. Is you. Mel Brooks. Easy mode. Robert Zemeckis. I got to pass for a minute. Catherine Bigelow. Um, directed Point Break. The Hurt Locker. Ex-wife of uh, James Cameron. Catherine Bigelow. Catherine Bigelow. Catherine Bigelow. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass for a minute. Woody Allen. There's another free space. Roman Polanski. You can see why people make conspiracy theories about Hollywood. When you get Polanski and uh, 
Woody Allen back to back, right? By the way, you think I don't know this is Uva Bowl? You think I don't know this is the guy who, when Kate and I were eating at his restaurant, came up to us and said, get ready for the mushroom soup. It's to die for. You think I don't? You wouldn't re I recognize the IRL as soon as I saw him. You're right. It's you. Okay, Spike Lee. Peter Jackson. I saw you down here. Brian Singer. Okay, wait a minute. It just, it's, it's, it's an endless quiz of, of cancel directors. I think you're Brian Singer. Please don't give me... Who's the guy who directed Rush Hour? They're going to be like, Brett Ratner. Okay, Stanley Kubrick. He's kind of canceled, but like... At least he's just canceled for being like incredibly toxic and abusive to his workers. Sam Raimi. Okay, stand up, take a bow, Mr. Raimi, right there. John Singleton. I know John Singleton. I think it's you. Tim Burton. I'm stupid. That's not Tim Burton. I snap picked as soon as I saw it. That's Tim. Come on! That's the same dude. <laughs> I should have known Tim Burton's got the, the blue ones, but still. I got to be honest with you. I don't think I could tell you what David Fincher looks like. Are you David Fincher? In my head, you're David Fincher. Okay. Are, you must be the Coen brother then. And then Christopher Nolan is right here. Paul Verhoeven. Okay. He's Dutch. He's older. He's older and Dutch. He's an older Dutch director. He's older and he's Dutch. You're Paul Verhoeven. You're Paul Verhoeven. Okay, Guy Ritchie. He's English. He's an English director. He's from the country of England. He's from England. He's, that's you. Oliver Stone. He's old. Terry Gilliam. He's old. He's an old director. He's old. Old? Old? Old man? He's an old man? I pass for a moment. I'm passing just momentarily. Michael Bay. You're Michael Bay. You're James Cameron. I saw, there he is. David Cronenberg right here. Quentin Tarantino, come on. Barry Jenkins, kind of pass on that one. Sofia Coppola, no, 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 Yes, Spike Jones, right here. No, one of you, one of you fuckers is Wes Anderson and the other one is Spike Jones, but you're fucking identical twins. You're identical twins, you're Spike Jones. Ang Lee should have gotten that one earlier for sure. You are George Lucas, Sam Mendes, Sam Mendes, Sam Mendes, Sam Mendes. No, you're the other one. He's always shooting stuff on iPhones and being like, I'm not part of your system. His name starts with a D. It's like David, but it's not Cronenberg. You know, it's, it's Steven Soderbergh. You're Steven Soderbergh. Okay, Martin Scorsese, J.J. Abrams, Clint Eastwood, come on. Wes Anderson, Steven Soderbergh. Ridley Scott, M. Night Shyamalan, Patty Jenkins, <laughs> Danny Boyle. You're Danny Boyle. Robert Zemeckis got to be old as hell. Catherine Bigelow. Which one of you fuckers was married to James Cameron? It's got to be you, and then you directed Wonder Woman. Son of a... <sighs> Terry Gilliam. Where the hell? No, wait, you're telling Terry Gilliam you're not Uva Bowl? What happened to my Uva Bowl? <laughs> I, I was, when we got down to how few people there were left, I was like, there's no hope for, there's no Uva Bowl. You're Sam Mendes, as played by Lin Manuel Miranda. You're Patty Jenkins. You're Barry Jenkins. 91 versus 66. That's pretty good. Mate, dude, now you know what I'm realizing? That was fucking Terry Gilliam's restaurant, dude. What the hell? I can't believe it. Oh, man. Pick a prize-winning book. Nope. Pick a winning Mahjong tile. Kate, you got to do this quiz, okay? What would win here? They don't even have the damn numbers on them. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, okay? 
You've already got three dragons. You don't need a, another dragon. But it maybe it would work. <laughs> you don't need four dragons. You've already got a sequence there. Oh, no, you go, no, 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 you take this and you discard one. Ooh, never mind. <laughs> um, one, two, three. Okay, you got one there. We need a, we need a four of this. Or a seven of this. He's insane. All right. They match. These do not match, but I don't know what fucking number this is. What number is this? What numbers are these? I'm going to assume this is five. I have no idea. Five, six, seven, maybe. All right. He's insane. They match. They match. Match, match, match. This one of these or one of these? He's crazy. By the way, Mahjong, so easy to learn. Do you like when people lie to you like that? Okay, you got three of those. You got three of these. You got three of those. You got a, a seven, an eight, a nine, and a nine. You'd like to discard your nine, I think. So, what would make that possible for you? I think you pick up a fourth wind and discard a nine. Nope. Okay. Uh, you got three of these. This is three, four, five. It's five, six, seven. Seven. You need a you need a, a ten. I don't know what I'm doing. This is quite good. I give up. Could you just put the numbers on the tiles? <clears throat> What's with the gatekeeping? There are numbers on the tiles. Oh yeah. My favorite number, WM. Just read it. Just count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eight lines. One, two, three, four. Okay, I see what you're saying. I was count I was counting the origin point as well. That's eight lines. How'd you get ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not being deliberately dense. Mahjong is deliberately dense. Look at this shit. What is this? Is the two of red? Why would you count the points? I don't know. Why would you count the lines? It's all it's fucking made up in like the third century or something. Anyway, if they, if they just had the numbers on it, it wouldn't be a problem. Sorry. Sorry is you. Pandemic is... This one. Oh, the disease cubes. Axis and allies. Pass the pigs. Mastermind. It's a little one of those. Shogi. It's this one right here. Operation. Is there a bone? Othello. Candyland would be Candyland. Candyland. Candyland? Candyland? No, that's Moncala. Candyland. Scrabble. Quirkle. What the fuck is Quirkle? Carcassonne. Nope. Carcassonne. Battleship. That's a ship? Blocus? <laughs> is this Blocus? What? That's Blocus? Trivial Pursuit. Now that's a game. Catan. Uh, a hotel. Clue. Chinese chess. Monopoly. Mahjong. Oh, here we go again. Ticket to Ride. Must be that. Mancala. Risk. Risk. Game of Life. Chess. Stratego. Oh, Quirkle. <laughs> I thought there was only one left. We're still crushing the average, man. Risk is the family car. I wish, man. Because isn't that the, the ultimate weapon of war? 
making your opponents have children so they have something to live for and choose not to fight? No, no. Nuclear bombs. Chat's saying nuclear bombs are the ultimate weapon of war. Okay, it's hard to argue with that one. Nuclear missiles first. Fair enough. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Then I'm going to come back. We're going to play probably some Rumbleverse. I didn't want to end Sporkle right now, but I do have to go to the bathroom. So it's a, it's a 